Hey, what's up guys and welcome to this week's Team of the Week predictions. First of all, I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you who supported last night's video. Really do appreciate all the support. I spent a good two or three hours last night actually sat just replying to comments. There's like over 600 comments on that video right now, which is, um, yeah, pretty insane. But it was really good to chat with you guys about FIFA 16. Anyway, on to this video. If you could leave a like on it, that would be pretty awesome. If you could leave a comment, that would be pretty good too. Let me know in the comments who you think could get an inform this week. Anyway, just before we get into my predictions, let's have a look at the potential informs. So here are the potential informs. These are the players who I think could get an inform in this week's Team of the Week, but haven't quite made it into my Team of the Week predictions. The one that I want to talk about is Carvajal, because I'm like 99% sure that he's going to get an inform this week for his performance in um, the El Clasico, but I've actually gone for another Real Madrid player, so you'll have to wait and see who I've gone for. Right then, into my prediction, starting off with the goalkeeper, we are going to go with René Adler of Hamburg. He made 8 saves in a 3-0 win against Hanover. In that game, he also got a very high match rating, so I would not be surprised to see him get into this week's Team of the Week. The first defender in my predictions is David Luiz, a centre-back who will be hugely popular if he does indeed get this inform. He got a goal and an assist in PSG's 4-1 win against Nice. The next defender is Leicester City centre-back Wes Morgan who got a goal in Leicester's 1-0 win against Southampton. And I still cannot get over the fact that Leicester City are actually going to win the Premier League. It's absolutely insane. The final defender in my starting 11 is Martin Olsen of Norwich. He got a very late goal in Norwich's 3-2 win against Newcastle. The goal he scored obviously won Norwich the game and that could be vital in the relegation battle of the Premier League this season. Thus, why I have given him a hero card. He might not get it, but you never know. On to the midfielders then, we're going to start off with Orlando City's cam. It's Kaka, who of course got himself a goal and two assists in a 4-1 win for Orlando against Portland. Next up is another Brazilian. I've actually gone for Casemiro of Real Madrid. Now, he didn't score or get an assist, but I actually thought he was great in the El Clasico where Real Madrid beat Barcelona 2-1. I do want to point out that I kind of think we're going to get a second in form Carvajal um, as the inform from that game, but um, I'm going to go for Casemiro because I thought he was brilliant in that match. I definitely think there'll be an inform from the El Clasico. It's going to be between Carvajal and Casemiro. I'm hoping it's Casemiro, but I kind of think it's going to be Carvajal. But um, you know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for Casemiro. Second in form, Pedro could be in this week's Team of the Week. He got two goals in a 4-0 win for Chelsea against Aston Villa. And this is a very, very good looking card. Switching wings now, Shakhtar's Tyson will definitely be getting an in form in my opinion. He got three goals and two assists in an 8-1 win for Shakhtar, which is... um. Yeah, pretty insane. So this guy should definitely be getting an inform this week. And I would not be surprised to see one or maybe two players from Shakhtar in this week's Team of the Week with them winning by such a big scoreline. There could be an inform Hazard in FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. And it's not going to be Eden Hazard. It's going to be Forgan. He got himself two goals in a 5-0 win for his side against Hertha Berlin. Next up is a fourth inform Griezmann. Wow, this guy's team of the season card is going to be freaking insane. It really, really is. And I'll definitely want to be trying out team of the season Griezmann um, when it does eventually come out. Anyway, Griezmann got two goals and an assist in a 5-1 win for Atletico Madrid against Real Betis. The final player in my starting 11 is another Ibrahimovic card. He has had so many special cards this year. I think this is his fourth in form, which is, um, yeah, it is just mad. He got a hat-trick in that 4-1 win for PSG against Nice. So guys, that is my prediction for the starting 11. Let's get on to the bench and reserves. We're going to start off with this man. Now, I'm going to say this right now. If EA do not give this guy an inform, it is absolutely ridiculous. I think he made 11 or 12 saves in a 1-0 win. 100% deserves the inform, in my opinion. If they don't give him it, yeah, what the hell? Seriously, this guy definitely deserves it. And when I was doing the reset for this video, there was a lot of positive comments about this young goalkeeper. If you've seen him play in real life, let me know your thoughts in the comments below because of what I've read, he looks like a very promising talent. Danny De Costa could be featuring in this week's Team of the Week. He got two assists for his side when they beat Schalke. 3-0. We could finally be getting Inform Hanani. This guy got robbed of an Inform a few weeks ago. He managed to get himself two goals and an assist in a 4-0 win 
for Olympiakos against Panathinaikos. So I've got a sneaky feeling he will definitely be in this week's Team of the Week. And if he's not here, what the hell, seriously. Next up is a very good looking silver card. As you can see, very piercy, decent shooting and pretty good dribbling for a silver as well. Yes, and Canelda got three assists in a 4-2 win for his side. I am going to mention though, I think Ia are going to ignore him. I don't think Ia are actually going to include him, but I am because I think he deserves the inform free assist and um, should be in this week's team of the week, but we'll have to wait and see whether Ia select him. Florin Andon should also be featuring. He got himself a hat-trick. It was in a 4-4 draw though, which could cost him, but you know, a hat-trick, whether it's a draw or not, still deserves the inform in my opinion. Ebenezer Asifue, what a name that is. That is a freaking awesome name. Deserves an inform just because of that name. Awesome looking card as well. Uh, this guy got himself a goal and three assists in a 6-0 win. So once again, this guy should definitely be featuring in this week's Team of the Week. Carlos Munoz got himself a hat-trick. So um, yeah, we should be seeing in for Munoz this week too. And if you're interested, he got the hat-trick in a 5-4 win. On to the reserves then, we're going to start off with Ben Foster, West Brom's goalkeeper. He was pretty good in West Brom's win over Sunderland, made about 8 or 10 saves. He also got a very high match rating. The game did end 0-0, but there still, I think Ben Foster's got a chance. Hakim Zayec, I think, will also be featuring this week. He got two goals in a 3-2 win for his side. I also want to give a mention to another Eredivisie player, Jens Tornstra. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but that guy got three assists in a win for Feyenoord, I think it is. But um, I don't know if you'll get the inform. I don't know if EA will put two Eredivisie informs in this week's Team of the Week. We'll have to wait and see. But if they do, then um, Jens definitely has a very good chance. This man named Pablo got himself two goals in a 4-2 win against Augsburg and um, doesn't look like a bad card at all. Decent stats for a low-rated goal. And now we come on to a player for the Liverpool fans. It is, of course, Sousa, who has somehow managed to get himself a hat-trick this week in a 4-0 win. So, um, yeah, we're going to be seeing this guy get an inform this week. The final player in my predictions is a former Ultimate Team beast. He used to be freaking OP as hell. Um, Ed Air. He got himself two goals and an assist in a 3-0 win for his side. So guys, those are my predictions for this week's Team of the Week. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Plenty of Brazilians in my predictions. But um, yeah, anyway, as I was saying, leave a like on the video, comment below. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. I'll catch you in the next one. Adios.